Hey everybody, Jim here from Clockwork Case Mods. Uh, thanks for joining me to another video log update for the Cypress 29 project. Uh, in the last video, we built up my front door panel for the case, uh, made these little bridge panels that connect uh, the top and bottom case doors. Uh, this video, I'm going to focus on the back doors, uh, back door panels, and uh, I have a cool design for it. The top panel, everything's going to be the same, but the clear is going to be swapped out for a painted copper panel and I'm going to put some lettering. The lettering will be cut out in white. And I'm going to make a periodic table for copper in the top block and then Cypress 29 spelled out in the bottom. I found a pretty cool font online and I'm going to use that lettering. And then if I have some time, I'm going to add the top panel to this video. I have a new design for the top panel. Uh, I'm going to use the same font that I did here and cut it out of there and uh, a couple different kind of accent pieces. I built the original top panel and I didn't have the CNC and it's been kind of bittersweet because the CNC I didn't expect to be finished to uh, work on this project at all with it so now I ended up having it about halfway through so I'm rethinking some of the things I did before that I didn't have access to such a powerful tool so uh, it would eat at me if I didn't go back and upgrade the things that the ideas I had originally made you know thinking of a CNC if I don't go back and upgrade to that you know, I'll regret it at the end when I'm sitting there with the finished product thinking about upgrading it so I'm just going to go ahead and knock it all out. I'm probably going to be remaking new reservoirs because I didn't have the CNC when I uh, made those. So those will be in a future video coming up here. Uh, so I got the door drawings are already up there. It's the same setup as the other doors. So I'm going to go ahead and get cutting on the CNC. Okay, I drew up the uh, first part for the back door panel. I also added the top panel to it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the top panel part simultaneously. And I'll add that into the video too, since I can do it at the same time. Basically, it's just cutting some pieces of acrylic and gluing them together. So it won't be too much extra footage uh, to add into the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out now. Okay, so here's my backdrop pieces for the back door panels. I'm gonna uh, basically paint almost the whole thing copper. I'm gonna mask off about three quarters of an inch all the way around to leave some acrylic on acrylic for gluing the white trim on which I'm going to cut while this paint dries and here's the top piece to the new top panel I have the cutouts for my two switches and the fill port for the reservoir and then this big cutout area is going to be uh, have mesh inlaid with the bottom layer and uh, I'm going to spell out the letters HAF on the top for the half stacker and I'm going to use the new font that I found online that I'll be uh, using on, this on these two panels as well so I'm going to get this taped and painted and then uh, I already have all the files loaded on the CNC and I'm going to go right into cutting the trim and the bottom layer to the top panel. Okay, so I made little dots at about three quarters of an inch just to get a marker. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be covered with glue. Okay, now it tapes all the way on. I'm going to wrap it around the edges because I want the panels to glue together to look like solid white on the edge so uh, the copper looks inlaid. So I'm going to fold it over just like that, do it to all of it and take it outside to paint it. Alright, it's all taped up. I'm going to scuff it real quick before I take it outside. I don't feel like doing any of this out in the cold weather. Just enough of a scratch for the primer to do it here. I'll put a coat of self-etching primer on which is good for plastic and then I'll hit it with the copper paint and then clear coat. And the letters I'm going to glue on, I'm going to keep them white. Because uh, I want to keep it where copper is a accent over and the white's the main color. So I'm going to scuff the little one and take it outside and uh, hit it with primer. Okay, I don't have very much light, but I opted to use this uh, Duplicolor Adhesion Promoter. Uh, it's a primer for paint uh, for plastic vinyl and chrome so it might actually work a little better than the self-etching primer for this kind of application okay losing light by the minute I'm gonna get the coats of copper on here and then uh, head back in the shop let everything dry and start cutting on the CNC Alright, so after uh, dealing with spray painting in the wind and this almost turning out terrible, I uh, took it outside in the, uh, in the pool house back there and painted it uh, without any wind interference and I'm glad I did because it looks really sweet now. 
uh, the trim is about to cut on the CNC and then I'll be able to hopefully this will dry enough where I can at least set it in place and get a look at what it'll uh, what it'll kind of end up looking like. Okay, I cut the trim and uh, took the tape off. Uh, you saw the trim getting cut and I laid it on after I cleaned up all the edges and peeled off the paper. And uh, it looks pretty good. It's comparable to this, but with a nice copper finish. Uh, I'm happy with the way it came out. Actually, relatively little dust for having no paint booth. And uh, right now I'm about to cut the uh, acrylic cutout uh, letters and numbers for the periodic table block here and for the Cypress 29 down there. And uh, I'll get those set in place and try to get everything glued on tonight. And um, except for the bridges, I'm going to mount the door panels and then connect the bridges uh, while it's on there like I did for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and get that cut now. Okay, so here we have the door panels side by side. Um, I just got to cut some more bridges, but uh, you guys have seen that and seen how I put that together. Uh, these two are glued on. I'm just trying to divide up the exact spacing, trying to get them, you know, within a couple thousandths of exactly where they should be with an even spacing for nine bridges. I'll be doing the same on this panel. Uh, next shot of this, you'll see I'll have them both up on the case. I have to mount and glue this one, but you guys saw me do that on this, so it's the same thing over again. Um, I think I'm going to have time to squeeze in the top panel. Uh, I had cut it out when I cut out these, so all I have to do is cut mesh to size and uh, glue it all together. So I'll show you guys the mesh that I use and uh, get that thing assembled and uh, add the details to that that I wanted to do to match the new uh, extension panel bezels. So I'm going to get busy on the top panel and uh, after I do that, that'll wrap up this video. Okay, so I'm going to squeeze this top panel stuff in this video. I got all the pieces cut simultaneously while I was cutting uh, for the door panels. And I have the two layers for the top. I have this MMPC Tech Mod Mesh, the one with the bigger openings. Um, I painted it copper and I cut it to size. There's a quarter inch inlay in here. And this will sit flush inside. And this piece will get glued on top and it'll lock the mesh inside of there. So once it's glued, that mesh is in this panel permanently. And then I cut out the lettering half 935 because that's the case. And it'll sit up on here and I'll just glue it to the mesh with some super glue. And all the fonts will match now on the case. Uh, right now, I'm gonna get the sides glued on this, uh, drill the mounting holes for the cubes, and then this will be all set, and I'll get it on top of the case, and uh, yeah, and then this video will probably be wrapped up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing put all together and uh, get it ready to go on top of the case. Okay, the sides are glued on. I got the letters spaced out exactly like they're supposed to be, an inch in and an inch and three quarters from uh, each side. And I'm basically just going to run a bead of super glue along the back of each piece. Okay, I got the top panel on and the uh, rear panel is on as well. I'm going to do a 360 view. All right, all I gotta do is fill the void up on the uh, back panel and the outside of the case is done. Okay, so the door panels are done. Got the top panel in, uh, 
glad I fit that in this video and that's going to wrap this one up. Uh, thanks again to my sponsors on the project, Primo Chill, ModSmart, Swift Tech, CoolerMaster, and KSeed.com. Also, thanks to uh, Tyler for editing these videos for me. And uh, the next video I'm going to probably start working on this back panel. Once that's done, it's time to go inside. A lot of the hardware is already painted and modded. The whole bottom case is done. Uh, Actually, I'm going to remake my reservoirs because they had glue marks on the clear, so I have a couple cool new designs for, uh, for them with the uh, CNC now. So uh, the top one's going to be a dual uh, tube with uh, some borders on it, and then the bottom one is going to be a uh, channel panel kind of thing. You'll see when I get to it. But uh, yeah, once I get to the inside, there's not going to be much. It's those two reservoirs and then wrapping up the uh, wiring and stuff. Couple panel. Uh, I gotta paint my motherboard shroud and paint my memory, and then everything's done. And one more GPU block to paint. So it's stuff that I can knock out, like all that stuff that go in one video. And uh, I really like to get this done in the next couple weeks. So uh, stay tuned for more, and uh, go ahead and subscribe if you guys like the uh, like the updates. Thanks.